Management for Life with Gajendra. The topic we are going to discuss is how to start a business. A lot of people do not start business because they have a fear of failure. That is the main reason why Sri Lanka doesn't have enough business to become successful. The fundamental for starting a business is having an idea. We can look at the largest companies in the world like Coca-Cola, McDonald's, Walmart, Starbucks and even the local companies such as Pereira & Sons, Maliban, Dumbro or Navaloka. All these businesses had one thing in common. That is, they started in a very, very small scale. Now that is the fundamental beginning. So anybody can start a business, provided you think in a very, very small scale. All these large organizations I mentioned earlier had a very humble beginning. If you take a company like Howlett Packard, which started in a garage in 1938, so they always had an idea. Even if you take a company like Benetton, the third largest clothing company in the world, they started on the pavement. Luciano Benetton started selling clothes on the pavement. I mean, if you take a local company like Siddha Lepa, where Deshamana Victor Hettigoda started selling from street to a street concept of Siddha Lepa. So the idea is very simple. Anybody can start a business, provided you start in a very small scale. Even if you take the largest company in the world, Coca-Cola, in 1886, they started as a pharmacy, a very small scale, selling a syrup for a headache. So the basic logic is, think in a very small scale, start from your own idea and from your own thinking. I'm sure after listening to this program, you will start your own business, provided you have a very simple idea and a concept. Then after that, you can build it to any scale you require. But initially, you have to think in a very small angle. That is the beginning of starting a business. A lot of people do not start because they fear of large organizations. They think that to do a business, you have to be in the large scale. You need to have a lot of finance and you need to know a lot of things like technology, staff, availability of processes. But in general, to be an entrepreneur, that is a businessman, only thing you need is a simple idea, like all the businesses I discussed earlier. So your beginning is simple. First, you have a clear idea how to start the business. After that, you can look out in the market. But always remember, anybody can do that. It is just the commitment and the desire to become successful in life, like all these successful businessmen, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Sam Walton and even Navaloka in Sri Lanka started in a very, very small scale. So our advice is start in the small scale. Management for Life with Gajendra. Let's see now how to develop a concept. Concept is a fundamental beginning for any business. Take a company like Walt Disney, which completely changed the landmark and the system of entertainment in the world. It always started with a mouse. You see, Walt Disney was very poor. Long time ago, he had basically no income and even no place to stay. So he saw a mouse on the ceiling. And he just had a sketch of the mouse. He had no big plans, just drew a sketch. And later, it became Mickey Mouse the world's most renowned character. And you will not believe this, but in United States, they celebrate Mickey Mouse National Day. So it's a simple idea of starting the business. First thing is, you need a concept. So how to build a concept? How to build a concept? It is very simple. You can do it. It is your idea, which later becomes into a multi-business multi or a large-scale operation. First thing is to get an idea. Sometimes it can be a dream, just like a dream. You have a passion for something. It may be, you see, you can look at Christmas to start with now, since we reached December, or it may be New Year. You might start a greeting card company. You might start small scale in Sri Lanka, 
and you might even grow to a global scale like Amazon.com. It started again in a small scale, just a website. Now it's the largest company in terms of global trade through the internet. So first, you need a concept. How are you going to build it? Just you need to eliminate any fear of failure. Think about anything. Just think about anything which you can come out and just be yourself and get an idea. Think in a very small scale. You can always look at an idea from the marketplace, from your own hometown. You can start a concept with your friends in a small scale. You can develop that over a period of time. Remember always, short term, you will not be successful like every other business. It takes ages to become successful. Coca-Cola is more than 100 years old. I mean, most of the companies sometimes are 200 plus years old. It takes a lot of time. Ferrer and Sons started in 1905, but a humble beginning. So you need an idea. Again, how to get an idea? Don't listen to anybody, because if you look at some other business, and that's a problem because you always see an idea which is already in the market. So don't follow anybody to get an idea. It should be your original idea. It might be a dream, it might be a very basic thing. But fundamentally, you have to go for it and think always in an angle which nobody has ever seen it before. And that is called differentiation in business. We always try to differentiate to become successful. Remember always, never follow any other business because you will be just another player in the market and you will have no reason how to sell your product or service. The ideas, of course, doesn't come through business schools. They don't come through any formal education. They doesn't come through any logical process. It should be your own way of thinking, your own creativity and imagination. So that is the beginning of a business. So be positive, be positive. You can do that, provided you develop some idea, something which you like, something which you are capable of, and something through which you can create a customer. You need to really understand a concept and just look at it and be committed, like all these other successful people, like Steve Jobs, who had a weird idea of bringing something like iPod to the market. Music personalized, everybody criticized it, but end of the day, it is now the largest selling electronic device in the world. Like any other product, you have to start in a small scale. So always remember to be original in the idea, then you will be successful. Management for Life with Gajendra. Let's see how we can really practice this concept of starting a business. First thing is an idea, as we discussed earlier. Then you need to look at a customer. There are so many good ideas, especially on the internet or technology driven, but they hardly become successful because they don't really define the customer. Always remember, you need to clearly identify a customer. A customer may be yourself first. If you're not happy with the service of a supermarket, that might be the beginning point of you starting your own supermarket because you now identified a dissatisfied customer. You call a cab service, you're not happy, they don't come on time. So that will be the fundamental beginning for you to start a cab service. So you need to define a customer. We call it in management target market. That is identifying the exact people who are going to buy your product or service. That is not very difficult. You can just have a chat with your friends, your people whom you work with, or even your relatives just to see whether they like the idea. Because every idea has to be customized and should have a commercial value. Without a commercial value, no business can be successful. Don't ever try to start in a larger scale. Trying to do research in a highly professional manner, it doesn't work. What you need to do is define a customer based on your idea. Just walk in the streets, speak to a person. Would you like this? Would you like a restaurant like this? Would you like an airline ticketing agency like this? Are you happy with your bank? Are you happy with your mobile service? Are you happy with the transport system? Are you happy with the education? 
that is the beginning. Ask them whether they would prefer a new concept. And that is what you mean by commercialization. From the beginning you can start. One customer is enough to start with. Always think small. If one customer buys your product, later another 10 would be. Let me give you a small example why you should start business. If you work in an organization, your salary or your remuneration will be fixed. Whether you really work hard or not, it doesn't really go up in the scale you would want. So over a period of time, you can be frustrated. But if you start your own business, you see, take Sri Lanka, 20 million population. Our population is 20 million. If you target 10%, that is 2 million. If you develop a small concept, which gives you a profit of 10 rupees, 10 rupees, a simple value. So if you sell that to 2 million people, that is 10% of the population, you get 20 million. 20 million rupees only if you sell it to 10% of the population only once with a profit of 10 rupees. And if you consider that for the entire year, selling only to one person, you'll get 20 million per annum, 1.6 million rupees per month. Think about it. So that's why you should start a business.